Hey guys, and welcome into another Buffy reaction. Today we are on to season one, episode nine. I'm a little bit concerned about the title, but we'll get into that. First, I want to do a little debrief of the last episode. This last episode was really interesting because it touched on some social landscaping of its time and whether they realized it or not, a lot of that carried into our current day. So it was really fun to see their take on growing technology and just this whole theme about not being able to trust everything that happens digitally. If you can't see it in the flesh in your life, you got to be skeptical. And poor Willow got catfished, one of the first victims it seems. I did enjoy the episode. I stand by what I said that the opening of the episode was the strongest of all the episodes of this whole season. It was so good and got me so hyped for the episode. And then the fact that the demon Malik. I believe his name was Malcolm, whatever. When Malcolm was using the guys in the high school to do his bidding, that was terrifying. Fritz was actually terrifying. Like the fact that he had zero remorse and was just ready to kill for a robot demon he found on the internet. Concerning. What's also concerning is the fact that we have two more high school students dead and there have been a fair amount of deaths in Sunnydale so far in season one. And now I'm starting to wonder how the town is explaining these types of things away. Like, oh yeah, we just have really high unexplainable crime rates. <laughs> Lots of unsolved murder here in Sunnydale. Come to us. So I don't know. Sunnydale, I feel like by the start of season two, I feel like I need, I need some explanation as to how the town is not like being questioned and investigated with how much is going down and how many murders and suicides are happening and just like violent crime in general. And then back to like the whole demon robot being the antagonist of our last episode. Yes, he was terrifying in the 1400s when he was in real physical form and he was terrifying to me when he was working through these students and tricking Willow. But then when I like saw his face on the computer screen and then when he came to life as a robot, I couldn't take it very seriously, which I don't think is a very bad thing. But I don't know. I think it's because I'm so used to like the, the face practical effects. Like if you really think about it, the, the faces that they give these vampires are pretty are pretty camp too. They're pretty outdated and they don't affect me because, just because I'm used to it. But like I've not ever taken a... 90s robot seriously before in media and the show is just like a lot of fun a lot of the time so like I was just having a hard time I was just having a hard time taking it seriously and I think that's okay um it was still a fun episode in my eyes so without further ado this next episode is called the puppet show listen I don't I don't get creeped out by a lot of things like I don't like genuinely freaked out there there's certain types of creeped out that I enjoy feeling you know certain types of scared I'm the person that watches horror movies but there's one thing that I don't mess with and that is dolls I don't like dolls and puppet a puppet is a form of a doll I don't care if it's a finger puppet I don't care if it's a ventriloquist puppet doll I don't care if it's a little baby doll all forms of dolls are a no-go for me so I have a feeling I might not like this episode We'll see how it goes. If any dolls start talking, if any puppets start talking on their own, immediately the worst episode of the first season. <laughs> if you would like to watch the full episode with me, my uncut reaction is available on my Patreon. That is linked below. We also have some fun bonus content, bonus reactions happening over on Patreon. So if you would like to support me in the channel and get some fun content out of it, I would much, much, much appreciate it. All my patrons out there, you are a huge, huge help to me. I'm having so much fun with you guys over there. But if you're not interested in checking out Patreon, let's get into the edited reaction here on YouTube. To love yourself. If it isn't the great producer. Had to see this to believe it. Oh, you three. The school <laughs> talent show. Why is he always over them? Such a primo assignment. If you had a, a shred of decency, you would have participated or at least um, helped. Nah, I think I'll take on your traditional role. And watch. And mock. And laugh. <laughs> Principal Snyder. So, Ooh. we think school events are stupid and we think authority figures ought to be made fun of. Real antisocial types. <laughs> you need to integrate into this school, people. Make them go in the talent show. Don't make them go in the talent events for the talent. Show. <laughs> no, don't make them. Oh, what are they gonna do? Why did he just say that so casually? Why did he just say? But he was eaten. 
is this principal okay? Okay, what are they gonna do? I like Buffy can do parkour, Xander can do awful stand up, and Willow. Sorry, Willow. I think dummies are cute. You don't? No. Uh, they give me the wig. Ever she gets it. Little. She gets what it. Happened? Hi, I'm Morgan. Ugh, Morgan. And I'm Sid. Do we think Morgan's gonna survive the episode? I'm gonna say no. I worked on these jokes for weeks. If all those jokes, my jockey shorts are made out of better material. <laughs> Flash. Oh. He wants to be a real boy. He's just a twisted little Pinocchio in there. Oh, that's wonderful. <gasps> what if he succeed? No. I was going to say that would be a really dark turn of the episode. Like, what if he succeeded in becoming Flash and he got into Morgan? And then they had to kill Morgan. No. <gasps> Maybe he will get into Morgan. Because then they wouldn't have to kill him. They would just have to exercise the the demon doll out of his body. That's my guess. That's how the episode's gonna go. Oh, they're doing it together. I, can't do this. I suppose that's better than doing it apart. I, I can't. A dramatic scene is the easiest way to get through the talent show. It's true. Because Just read off the script. An actual talent. Yeah. But we have talent. We can do stuff. Willow, you can do stuff. Uh, the piano. You she can. A little. Well, that's that's cool. adorable. You could accompany us and we could attempt to sing. Look at the goodie. Oh no, and it's a creepy one. You know what they say. Once you go wood, nothing's as good. Okay, Morgan, oh. we get the joke. I know Principal Flutie would have said kids need understanding. Kids are human beings. It's the kind of woolly-headed liberal thinking that leads to being eaten. Oh my I, God. I think perhaps it was a little more complex than suicide, missing persons. This is what I'm saying. Spontaneous. So people are muscle. noticing this now. What? What did we miss? I'm so happy he brought that up. I was like, is the whole town just unaware of all of the crazy things that are happening? But he's like, oh, just discipline some kids and crime rates will go way down. Emily. Dancer Emily? Dancer oh, Emily. Man. I hate the school. Her heart was removed. <gasps> Yikes. Oh. Does that mean anything to you? Besides... Ooh. Why would the doll want her heart? It must be some weird ritual to make him human. A demon is a creature of evil, pure and very simple. A person driven to kill is, is um, it's more complex. The creep factor is also heightened. Yeah. It could be anyone. It could be me. <laughs> Emma was like my best friend. Emily. <laughs> that one didn't hit me right away. And I think I saw him arguing with his dummy. Mm -hmm. All I can think is, it could have been me. <laughs> We can drink. <laughs> That's mean, Xander. Come on. Figure out who's gonna be next. How are we supposed to? Hey, Buffy, just practicing. I, I was just working on throwing my voice. Morgan, did you notice anything weird going on around here yesterday? Weird? What do you mean? With Emily. No. She was dancing. Sid and I were talking. We're talking. Rehearsing. So you didn't notice anything weird at... Oh. Look, sweetheart, he answered your question. Now leave him alone. Okay, Morgan, how about talking to me yourself now? Oh, this is Dead so annoying. I just want... Say. We're done. Please tell me it's clicking, Buffy. Tell me it's clicking. No, I'm... It's him. Oh. He's... Oops. We have to go. So it's possible from that reaction that Morgan isn't in on it with Sid and Sid is using him. Morgan? Morgan. We have a winner. Guy talks to his puppet. And for his puppet. Guys, think about what you're saying. Yeah, but what about the whole it's a demon theory? We just had a demon in a computer in the last episode. A demon and a puppet isn't that crazy. Check his locker, see if there's anything there. Like a heart? Hmm. Yeah. Was her heart missing? They said it was ripped out. Right. <gasps> Principal Snyder. Oh. What are you doing? Uh, looking for something. There are things I will not tolerate. Students loitering on campus after school. Horrible murders with hearts being removed. And also smoking. 
Oh, I don't do any of those things. <laughs> it's an interesting three choices, but I can't say I disagree with them. No, I can't do it. It's the only way. I don't want... She's the one. She's the last. Just this one more and I'll be free. The last. I won't. I will. How's it uh, going with the talent show? It'll be over soon. I, for one, am looking forward to seeing your act. <laughs> In the sense of actually attending? Of course. Uh, okay, no, no. okay. Listen, I've been coming down on this mom. I forget her name because she hasn't said it too but much. I want but to support what you're doing. Like, this mom, is what I've been waiting really for. I mean, besides your fabulous debut. And she's asking if something's wrong. This is okay. what... Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No. I feel like I'm just trying to think, what would I do if I saw a little puppet doll in my window? Well, I mean, I would assume it was attached to a person, so I would think a creep was about to murder me. So I guess I'd just cry. Hey, what is it? In the bed. In the covers, there's something. Where? In the covers. Yeah. Check under the bed. Under the bed. Probably right. I'm sorry I got you up. Don't worry about it. I was dreaming about bills. And my lovely assistant steps into the box. Please, no cutting. No slicing. And steps out. Behold. <laughs> you were supposed to leave. <laughs> my song is about dignity and human feelings and personal hygiene or something. And no one is going to be feeling sappy after all that rock and roll. I'm sorry. Um, your hair. Uh... There's something wrong with my hair. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Trials. Sandra was right. It worked like a charm. I could not believe he just did that. That was so mean. I kind of liked it. Okay, everyone look at me like I'm in a bunny suit because that's how stupid I feel saying this. Literally, why? I think Sid was in my room last night. Yeah. This is not crazy. Have you? Do you remember everything you've been through? So Morgan oh. could still be the guy, only demon Morgan instead of crazy Morgan. But he seems to be getting weaker every day. Hmm. I'm just trying to think about what, like, why the heart. If Morgan's getting weaker every day, that would mean Sid is trying to take Morgan's body. But what's up with taking the heart and her being the last? You stop. He does not need to look at me like that. Looks like someone digs you. That's adorable. You and the Demi Couture in the freak show. <laughs> She's so pleased with herself every time she talks. Morgan? Is no one what? gonna question why he has Morgan his has doll? Other things on his mind. <laughs> why he has his doll with him in class? That's weird. He'll get it back after school. Yeah, why, like why, why is no one questioning that he's carrying that around with him 24 seven? It's gone. Gone. Where is he? Vander. Oh, I uh, took it out of Mrs. Jackson's cupboard. I thought you said you wanted to be able to speak to Morgan alone, and, uh, well, Morgan's alone, and, uh, sits with me. I am not real! Vander, quit it. He's not real. Oh my god. Bye bye now. I'm completely inanimate. I wanted Sid to Red get rah. mad and like freak out. Oh my God. No, you guys, because this is driving me insane. I think I was just talking in the last episode about how I love how quick they always are to like pick up on what's going on so that we can get to like the fallout of it for the most of the episode, but it's just stressing me out. Principal oh. Snyder. He's everywhere. I'm not sure how safe it is for a girl like yourself to be here alone. Well, I was just leaving. That's a thing that guys say a little too often. And whenever they say it in movies, it always leads to them stabbing you with a knife. I think, I don't know, I, 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 I can't tell what the show is trying to get me to, what kind of vibe they're trying to get me to take from this new principal. It's like they want me to think he's gonna be a villain at some point, but I don't know. Already mystically possessed of consciousness, acted upon their desire to become human by harvesting organs. <gasps> oh my god. Hard. Ew. Ew. What? What is it? 
He's gone. <gasps> Sid's gone. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. I want to see this doll walk on- uh, do I? I don't know if I want to see the doll walk on his own. Because it's creepy that I know he can, but I feel like if they show it to me visually, it's going to take me out of it. Jump scare. Ooh. Oh my god, is that Morgan? Morgan. Mm. Demon's got himself a brain. Oh my god, Morgan's brain. <gasps> okay, the cutoff means she's fine. A cutoff does not mean she's fine. Oh my god. Is Sid alive now? Like alive alive? Ew, ew, ew. The pitter patter of the doll running. Ew. Ugh. That's a disgusting noise. See, that's one nice thing about, you know, fighting against a doll. You can just fling them right across the room. You lost, and now you'll never be human. Yeah, well, neither will you. What? what? <laughs> this Wait, is what? what I do. I hunt demons. Yeah, there was a curse. And the next thing I know, I'm not me anymore. You thought I was the demon. Who can blame me for thinking? Look at you. Now that this demon's got the heart and brain, he gets to keep the human form he's in for another seven years. What? What? What demon? I'm sure it's someone in that stupid talent show. Yeah, but now the demon has what he wants, he'll be moving on. Literally who? <gasps> Not the principal. I was trying to think, like, what other characters do we even know that are in this school or talent show? You get everyone together, you get them, you know, revved up. Right. Do you know what this is giving? This is giving Halloween Town. <laughs> I don't know why, but like this plot twist is giving Halloween Town and I love it. We'll assemble on the stage in five minutes for the um, uh, power thing. You kill the demon and the curse is lifted, right? That's the drill. Your body is dust and bones. When I say freeze, you mean dead. Don't get sniffly on me, sis. Of course, if you want to snuggle up and come. Okay, okay. Here comes our lineup. <laughs> Quickly, okay. everyone. Uh, um, power circle. Oh, that's that then. Um, everybody, uh, get ready. Okay. Ew. <gasps> Ew. It was so jiggly. Does anybody else feel like they've been Kaiser Sosate? Says on the level, I'm sure. <laughs> In case of emergency, contact Dr. Dale Liggett, California Institute of Neurosurgery, cancer ward. Brain cancer? That's why he had all the headaches. Oh. This means that whatever's out there still needs a healthy, intelligent brain. Oh, In other words, man. I'm safe. <laughs> and it's going to be looking for the smartest person around. Giles. What? Willow, Giles. They're both pretty smart. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Pretty cool, huh? Um, how, how exactly does it work? A good magician never tells us secrets. No, it, it's this. It's this guy. Come on, we haven't got much time. This is ridiculous. <gasps> it's the magician. We can't just sit here and wait for him to come to us. We have to figure out who we're dealing with. Giles can handle himself. I mean, he is really smart. Smart. Oh my God. Sh sh shouldn't it be aimed at my neck? No, your scalp gets sliced off, and your brains just come pouring out. Um ah. Ew. <laughs> Xander! Xander did something! And Willow. Oh my god, I'm loving this teamwork. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh my god, that's the that's what it looks like in the book. I found you. Oh my god! Yes, Sid! <laughs> that was so fun. That was one of my favorite like climax fight scenes. Your timing is impeccable. <gasps> Yeah. And now for that big finish. You have to get the heart. Then all of this will be over. Ugh. 
Wow. They should just start clapping. I don't get it. Just... <laughs> what is it? Avant-garde? <laughs> oh my god. That was such a good ending. Just them confused. Like, what's what's the talent here? <sighs> I feel like the, they were definitely setting up the principal. Like, for me to not trust the principal. But that's why I was like... They're setting him up a little too hard to be an enemy. So I don't know if I should buy into that. But I definitely did not like... I know we, we had what maybe a 30 second little scene with the magician like doing his little act with the girl in the box and then it ended up all coming back to him like how was i supposed to know that that was a really good misdirect i actually really like this episode this episode was a lot of fun if it wasn't for like the twist of the dummy sid being a uh demon hunter i forget what his label was um if it wasn't for that twist of him actually being on our side and there was actually a whole other demon that we had to to bring down if it wasn't for that twist this episode would probably have been lower on my rankings but but the episode once that like clicked and the whole rest of the episode was so good like so exciting and i shouldn't have i shouldn't have doubted it i shouldn't have doubted it we haven't had like a, that was such a good twist we, i feel like we haven't had a good twist like that since i think this one's gonna stick with me i feel like this twist um angel being a vampire twist and the um the mom the witch episode those have been my three favorite twists and i think like i just love a good twist and a lot of the time those become my favorite episodes so this might be probably number three i ended up not writing too much down i just wrote down some names mark was the name of the demon which i'm just wondering like mark had to have been a new kid or was the demon just possessing mark like, did we lose another kid was that explained or was I, am I just not picking up? Mark was the demon, but was Mark a kid that was already enrolled in this high school and he got possessed by this demon? Or did this demon possess a random person and then come to this high school? Because this brings me back to what Principal Snyder was saying. He was like, there's so much going on in this town. It's murder, suicide, people getting eaten. That was like, exactly, is no one else noticing this? Like, how is this town not a Netflix documentary? Or I know Netflix wasn't a thing in 1997, but whatever is equivalent to a Netflix documentary in 1997, like this town has to be getting media attention by this point because it's just insane what's going on. Um, and so I am curious about how the show is going to deal with that or if the show is just simply going to be like yeah this town is known for like some gnarly stuff and that's it um and everyone just accepts that i was happy that we got cordelia more in this episode i really missed her she brought the funny and i appreciated it um principal snyder obviously was set up to be quite a villain but i think that was just a misdirect for this episode so now i wonder what his personality is going to be like going forward because even though he's not a villain he seems a little too unaffected by everything very very strict almost militant so while i i at this time i don't fear him in becoming a villain i am not sure what to think of him quite yet because he, he's not my favorite person by any means but yeah I wonder if they were just exaggerating that that side of his personality for this episode for the misdirect and if he's gonna loosen up a little as time goes on or if he's gonna be like that intense all the time because that's a lot I really appreciated that the mom talked to Buffy in this episode listen this whole show so far the mom has been so absent the mom has been very absent i think it really stuck with me in that episode with the cheerleading up the mom up the witch episode with the cheerleading where buffy was going to try out for cheer and her mom was just like what are you doing what was today there was a tryout today oh good job and buffy was like do you even know what i tried out for she's like mm, she didn't know like it was really important to buffy at that time and she had no idea that there was cheer tryouts today and i was like oh no is this trying to show that this mom just has no idea what's going on in her daughter's life, which she doesn't because her daughter is a vampire slayer. I'm not saying that the mom is dumb for not picking up on the fact that her daughter is a vampire slayer because that would not cross her, a normal mother's mind. Like, she doesn't know vampires even exist, so why would she be able to put together that her daughter is a vampire slayer? But her daughter is gone a lot. Her daughter is, like she saw in this episode, stressed a lot. Her daughter just unaccounted for a lot and i'm like what do you think she's always off doing 
like no kid spends this time studying at the library you know so i'm like i don't know i just didn't know what to think of the mother this whole time and then when she brought angel home who is apparently an older guy well we know he's an old 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 guy but i still don't know what human age he's supposed to be but she brings this guy home and she's just like totally chill about it doesn't question it at all like going forward she was of course in the moment she was like who's this and then buffy was like oh this is a study buddy bye and that was it the mom didn't question anything more so i was a little frustrated with the mom i was like pay pay a little more attention to your kid and that's what we got in this episode so i'm so happy about that she um wanted to come to the talent show i hope she did and she saw that beautiful act at the end um and she picked up on the fact that her daughter was having a hard time and stressed so good job <laughs> so yeah that is this episode uh let me know your thoughts on it and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one